<laughs> Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, we have finally got our header tank in for all our stock troughs. So as you can see behind me, what we have there is um, our Bushmans. So that's a 15,000 litre um, poly tank. And that's going to be feeding all our stock troughs running down this side of the property. Um, I think we're going to break this down into one, two, three, four. This will be about five paddocks running through this area and back over the hill. Now, what we've, the thought process being is that we've got 15,000 litres um, here and each one of our stock troughs is just on, I think it's 1,200 litres. So it's even if the sun doesn't shine or we have a failure with our solar pump from our pump house, we're still going to have ample water gravity fed back to those certain stock troughs. So, um, and remembering that we're going to be doing rotational grazing. So we'll only have one stock trough on at a time. When we move the cattle, we'll turn that stock trough off, open up the next stock trough and so on and so on and so on. So we're always going to have ample amount of water running through this side of the property. Now, what we've done, if you previously remember the solar pump running from the, the um, pump house, we were gonna, I was gonna put it up there a little bit further up the hill. And I was thinking to myself, now we were getting eight liters a minute from our solar pump up at that point there. I've brought it back down the hill to here because I've still got ample gravity, um, water gravity feed back to the stock troughs. And guess what? I've, <laughs> I've got an extra two liters a minute. So I'm now pumping 10 liters a minute from our little sea flow, um, sea flow diaphragm pump down at the, um, the top dam there. And we'll go down there and have a look. So what I wanted to quickly show you was we've put our base together, we've compacted um, our clay and then got crusher dust in and we're sitting on a 75 mil bed. The water tank's gone on top. Now I've got my irrigation or my feeder um, pipe on the ground because I just wanted to make sure that everything was going to work as per plan. So what I've got here is going up through that PVC pipe and then back out. So that's going through the strainer cap. Now on the other side, we have the overflow and of course our um, outlet to feed these stock troughs. So the next job is to put this pipe in the ground with the pipe layer on the back of the tractor. And mate, I can't believe it, we finally got there. So, I'll come and find you. I've got to go grab the tractor. I've got to turn off this pump because I wanted to make sure that the our outlet and water flow was going to be different, and it was. So we got our 10 litres, and that's really what I was trying to chase. So, I'll go get the tractor, I'll come and find you, and I'll see you soon. All right, so I thought before I jumped on that tractor, what I wanted to quickly show you was our feed-in. Now, this is a one-inch pot coming in, and I thought, my God, for us to get it up there, the cows are gonna be chewing on it, and it could have just be an absolute disaster. So what I thought I'd do was that um, I'd run it in this just stormwater pipe. This is 90 mil. I've got a couple of bends going across so that the cows can't really chew on this. And then once I'm all settled and I've got my pipe in, I can recompact this area through here. And um, so we won't even know that the, um, the pipe's running through. Now, I haven't glued anything here just in case it all does go pear-shaped so I can pull things apart. Now, um, I will be doing the same on the other side for the overflow and also um, for the... Because I'm going to use that overflow to feed back into some swales and I, I want to use that I'm gonna try a little experiment there on a little header tank and use gravity fed to irrigate the top of the swale this especially the, our first one here now what I am noticing now that it's been the two-year period since we've been here is that that swale only gets water in it when we've got massive heavy rain so the rest of the time it's staying dry so I think that with the overflow from this I can irrigate in from another he um, header tank further down. So, I'll get on the tractor, I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon. Okay, so here we are. 
We've started um, laying our pipe now. So we've got the pipe layer on the back of the tractor. We've got our tail sticking up at the end there, as you can see. And what we'll do is we'll come back and fit that off. Now, same as before, what we'll find is that as the pipe layer comes through, it opens up the ground. Once we've got the pipe in place, we'll come back and drive over it. And mate, it's all over. No one knows that we've even been here. So how good's that? I'll get back on the tractor. We've got 250 meters, or I think we've changed it. So 200 meters, straight back down to the pump house. We'll get that up and running and connected. Before you know it, it's all done, mate. Half an hour, away we go. So I'll get on the tractor, I'll come and find you, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> So here we are back at the pump house. Now we've got our main feed in, and then what we've done is we've just quickly rolled back over the irrigation line itself. So what I wanted to do is that between here and the header tank is, is 200 meters. And I was thinking to myself, we did this experiment um, when we first set up the little Seaflow pump, is that I was gonna put a check valve in. And so I've just left that exposed for you to have a look at. And that's just that one way valve. So that way I'm not losing all that water running back up to the header tank. So what we're gonna find now is that we'll, we've got to fill this guy now and we'll do that over the next few days or so. And then we'll put it on a timer and we'll work out how how much time is it going to be per day? And I, I'd be thinking, you know, maybe one or two hours a day, depending on the, the cattle's um, needs. Obviously more in summer, less in winter. So, but we'll, we'll manage that as we, as we um, keep on traveling through. So I've got to go back up now and finish off the last hookup. We'll get the water flowing back into the, um, into the header tank and we're all done. So I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon. Okay, so here we are, down to the minute. Half an hour to lay the poly pipe, 200 metres from the pump house to the header tank. Shh, dogs. So, we've got everything hooked up, ready to rock and roll. The pump's just working through its thing at the moment. We've still got good flow at around about 10 litres a minute. A little bit over. So, absolutely fantastic for that little sea flow pump. I'm just gonna quickly race back over our irrigation um, lay back over with the tractor. We'll get that squared away and that's it, it's dinner time. So don't forget, like and subscribe all about laying your pump um, irrigation lines for your header tanks. I'll see you soon.